Good morning, everybody. It's your man, the athlete's attorney. Court is now in session again. Before I start, let me give a shout out to the subscribers that subscribed yesterday. I can't remember any names. I asked you guys to leave me a comment in the comment section uh, so I can uh, <laughs> shout you out. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, by the way, please remember to leave a comment or hit that like button when you come in, please. We are trying to get 50,000 views, 50,000 subscribers, whatever it takes. Uh, here we go. Uh, so last night, the Cavs got swept. And I know me, myself, two other guys, my young dudes from... Uh, Two young blood sports talk. We said that these dudes would get swept, and they did. Now, the manner that they got swept, I don't think it should have even came to that. Uh, look at the way that all you guys submit to LeBron being the king or the GOAT, or whatever y'all call him. And the man is great. He is great. However, the performance that he put on, or lack thereof, is something that's going to be talked about forever forever and may tarnish his legacy as being one of the greats I still think he's a great I still think he's an all-time great I still think he's a top 10 great I just don't think he deserves to be in the number two spot the number three spot Once again, it's your man, the athlete's attorney, begging you guys to hit the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the analysis. Uh, the, uh, the lack of effort that the Cavs showed shows me that they won't play unless LeBron plays. I don't know if that's loyalty or that's just being a stargazer. Nobody should give up that bad in a back-to-the-wall game. Nobody does that, man. You know what this reminded me of? I know my Seminole Nation is going to kill me. But when DeAndre Francois went out, when DeAndre Francois went down in the Alabama game, it seemed like the team just gave up on the season. But they persevered and played a little bit better at the end of the year. Was it a, was it a fact that the Cavs ran out of steam? Or was it a fact that the game one messed with their mental? Did game one mess with their mental? It could be a bit of both. A, a lot of people, like myself, think the Cavs got a lot of luck on their side this season, or in the playoffs, I should say. They had no business making it this far. LeBron James and don't get mad at me for saying this because I just speak the real LeBron James is probably the only guy I know that can do more with little and still make it to the finals I don't know if Mike 
and uh, Kobe could do that. I don't know if Mike and Kobe could do that. Not, not saying they can't, but I just don't know if they could. But I do know this. In one of those finals games, they're going to win one of them. Kobe's going to will his team to win one game. Mike's going to will his team to win one game. So they didn't even try the last game. The games one and two, I'll say, I'll say this, they should have won game one. Game one should have been theirs. Game two, they were not out of it, but it just seemed like nobody else was playing except LeBron and Kevin Love. Game three, LeBron tried to facilitate a little too much, and it kind of bit him in the end. You know, he don't want to go down as being a selfish player. I get that. And also, people got to understand, look, there was not too many shots that were not contested by him. People were like, you know, back in the days when, in the 80s and the 90s, they'd like, hey, we're going to let, we're going to let Tracy McGrady shoot and let the rest of the team beat us. We're going to let Magic Johnson shoot, Penny Hardaway shoot, and let the rest of the team beat us. Didn't happen that way. They contested all of LeBron's shots or they doubled down on him. And he was winded. I can tell he was winded in a lot of those games. Excuse me. Once again, it's your man, the athlete's attorney, reminding you to please smash the like button and leave a comment, please. Help a brother out. Um, it's hard for me to look at this and say that LeBron tried in game four. Because if you look at it, Lord knows I wanted, I wanted to root for him, but... His lack of effort in that game last night alarmed me and alarmed me bad. I mean, trying to pass and stuff. What, he only take like 13 shots or something like that? Yeah, I, I don't know if it was a case because I didn't get to see the game. I don't know if it was a case of him just trying to get teammates involved early or him just like hey man my mental isn't here tonight and I'm just ready to get this over with so I can move on I also seen him leave the court in a very upsetting fashion which any if if anybody has ever played sports in their life they know being a good sportsman is is the hardest thing to do if you are used to winning or you want to win so bad it's hard to shake the uh, the opposing team's hand after they've beaten you it's just it's just hard to do so I don't care who you are I don't fault him for that I don't fault him for that at all it's just that we've seen this before by him where when he left Cleveland and went to Miami he, he did the same exact thing so this should be no surprise so I mean I don't know who everybody is saying that he wasn't you know what I'm saying sportsman like I mean who, who's gonna be I mean there, there are a lot of people that are, but at the end of the day, you'll find them in a, a later interview, trash talking. Uh, they're not better than us anyway, or anything, yeah, anything. That I just think LeBron's next landing spot. I slept on this, and me and my my buddy Ryan, me and my bro Ryan, and a couple more of my guys at work, we talked about it, and 
everybody seems to think the Lakers would be a good fit. I see it picking up steam, and everybody's talking about he's going to bring Chris Paul to the fold with him, which is good. But I also think there are a couple of more people that he could bring with him. I mean, you got Boogie Cousins. Next year, Klay Thompson to be a free agent. Next year, Kawhi Leonard to be a free agent. So, here we go. Uh, and just imagine if LeBron came to the Lakers, and there's a great possibility. I mean, everybody's thinking about it. Everybody's talking about it. Paul George, possibility. Uh, who else? I don't know about you guys, but... I'm not the biggest Alonzo Ball fan. Once again, please leave a comment. This is your man, the athlete's attorney. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm driving trying to do this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Please leave a comment in the comment section um, cousin Mike I still disagree with what you said about Kevin Durant not being able to lead a team he took over a team that was already great and became their MVP two years in a row so that part's not true and I mean what did he do at OKC he was the best player on OKC we found out that Westbrook is a stat patter. We found out that Russell Westbrook is a stat patter. So that wasn't KD's fault. You can't win. You done turned Paul George and Carmelo Anthony mediocre over there. So I am team Durant as far as that goes. I am team Durant as far as that goes. So I think he can lead a team. I think he can lead a team. So, with that, the defense rest. Please leave your comment in the comment section. Please remember to hit the like button. Shouts out to waterboyreport.com and or YouTube. Shouts out to uh, all my guys. Uh, Two young bloods, everybody that subscribed to me, we out. Show.